The first in a series of increasingly complex missions, Artemis I will be an uncrewed flight test that will provide a foundation for deep space exploration and demonstrate our commitment and capability to extend human existence to the moon and on to Mars. It's a future where NASA will land the first woman and the first po person of color on the moon. And on these increasingly complex missions, astronauts will live and work in deep space and will develop the science and technology to send the first humans to Mars. We're going to Mars and we're going back to the moon in order to learn to live, to work, to survive. How do you keep humans alive in those hostile conditions? It's at one height now, and by Artemis IV, it's going to be taller, and it's going to be more powerful. And then on top of it is the spacecraft, Orion. And on this mission, Orion will venture farther than any spacecraft built for humans has ever flown. It will be on a mission of over a million miles to the moon and back and all kinds of orbits around the moon testing the spacecraft. CubeSats will be testing innovative propulsion technologies, studying space weather, analyzing the effects of radiation on living organisms, one of my favorite experiments, and providing high-resolution imagery of the Earth and Moon. Artemis I provides a rare opportunity for these small experiments to reach deep space destinations.